Hey guys, if you are in the market for a heating and air system, during the making of this video, looking at some of the new products coming out, the new SEER 2 products that are coming out, I want to go through Daikin's product lineup. And before you click off of this, I am going to be talking specifically about Daikin. So if you're not in the market for a Daikin, I just want to point out a couple things before you click off of this. But later in this video, we're going to talk specifically about Daikin's lineup and how they're handling this whole transition. So they're going from SEER to SEER 2 and how they're going to handle that transition. But let me first say, Again, before you click off of this and move on, if you say, I'm not really interested in Daikin or I'm not purchasing a Daikin, my dealer or my contractor that I'm selecting for my home does not sell Daikin. One thing I've realized is it seems like a lot of the manufacturers, they're all kind of handling it different ways. What I mean by that is some of them are saying, look, we had our lineup, 14, 15, 16 SEER and so on, lineup of SEER 1 systems and they're just transitioning it over to SEER 2. So they're saying, okay, the 14 SEER no longer meets the SEER 2 requirements, so we're gonna do away with that. But then 15 is gonna be the 14.3 SEER 2, basically not changing their lineup a whole lot. So they're basically, it's the same products, if you will, but it's gonna be the SEER 2 now. It's gonna have the new rating attached to that. And then you see other companies that seem to be a little more that they're changing it entirely kind of attitude. So they're saying this was our lineup of 14, 15, 16 SEER stuff, that's gone. And now we've got our SEER 2 stuff that all the ratings are maybe gonna be a little bit higher. The coils are gonna be bigger. The system's gonna be more efficient and they're trying to reach these new efficiencies with the SEER 2 stuff. You're seeing a whole nother lineup, if you will. The reason this all matters is I think if you go back to the companies that are handling it the first way, they are not changing their model numbers a whole lot, if at all. They're changing it maybe a little bit to say this is our SEER 2 stuff, but then the second line of companies, if you will, I haven't really dove into each and every one of them. I'm just seeing this on the outside looking in how some of the different manufacturers seem to be handling this. The companies handling it the second way will have basically a whole nother set of model numbers. They're gonna say, this is the old stuff, this is the new stuff, and here's our new lineup of model numbers and SEER 2 ratings attached to that lineup. And then finally, I would say some companies are handling it a little bit of both. And I would say Daikin falls in that line where they're saying some of these products are gonna stay exactly the same, they're basically saying the single stage 15 SEER system or 16 SEER system, now that we're coming over to the SEER 2, we're now attaching a new rating to that and it's gonna be 15.3 SEER 2, but it's essentially the same product. But then they're saying some of the other products are gonna be a little different. It's gonna be a bigger coil or more efficient. I would say they're sort of a hybrid of both. With that said, now that we're gonna talk uh, specifically about Daikin, one thing that's important is, let's say you are in the market for a system, you've almost pretty much selected one, you've said, this is what I'm going with, I wanted the two-stage 18-seer system, I've got the, the inverter 18-seer or 20-seer system, this is what I'm going with, and now it's going away. I wanna go through how this is all gonna transition over so that way if you did sort of pick one out or if you're just looking at them in general, then you'll see the newer replacement for that. They're taking some of these products and it's basically an equivalent switch over, just new model number, and then some of these are gonna be kind of a little different, but. In, in other words, most of these products will have some sort of replacement. If you selected something from the original, then you should have something that you can select from the new. Now, I will say before we dive into this, last thing is just realize some of these things don't have AHRI matches yet. And I think you're going to find that with most manufacturers. You're going to find that if you were going to go, for example, uh, with Daikin, if it was the Fit heat pump, it did not have a dual fuel furnace match up if it was in the horizontal orientation. If the furnace was laid on its side with a horizontal evaporator coil, the fit did not have an AHRI match for that. So you'd have to look at DZ20 or a DZ18 two stage, okay? So just keep that in mind uh, as we go through this new stuff, 
you're going to see less AHRI matches. I'm being told they're working on that. They're going to get more matches, but where you might have used this coil before, you might have to use a different type of coil, maybe like a slab coil instead of an A coil or something like that. So you just realize that as we dive into this, that they're still working on getting all the AHRI matches caught back up. So originally we had 13 and 14 seer AC systems, depending on what part of the country you're in, you may not have been able to purchase one of those. I think the southern states or the western states are a little more strict than the northern states on all this. And let me also say we are going to only focus on split systems with heat pumps, ACs, furnaces, air handlers sort of stuff. I'm not going to talk about package units. I'm not going to talk about mini splits. We're only talking about these split systems for now. One thing that Daikin always did is they had their straight ACs, they had DX in the model number at the beginning, and then their heat pumps had DZ, Z as in zebra. That has not changed. With the new SEER 2 stuff, if you look at the model numbers, the DX stuff is straight AC, the DZ stuff is heat pumps. But the next change that you'll see is with the old stuff, with the SEER 1 stuff, that first number after the DX or DZ would be the SEER rating in a lot of cases. Once you do the AHRI, that would get you the actual SEER. So for example, if you had say a DZ18 and you matched it with a lower end air handler, you might only get 17 or 17 and a half SEER. And then if you matched it with a, a higher end air handler, then you might get 18 and a half, if that makes sense. So depending on what the match is, you would get the specific SEER rating, but in most cases it would get you close and it was a roundabout version. So when I was selling these systems, it was easy for me to say, okay, Mr. Customer, I've got my DZ14, 16, 18, and 20, right? Or, you know, the fit might be in there, the DZ17. Now, instead of having that number in there, the new stuff is going to have one number. You've got the DX4, the DX5, six, seven, nine, and so on. So same with the DZs, DZ four, five, six, seven, and nine. That number in a lot of cases, if you round up, will get you close to what the old SEER was. So for example, if you're looking at the DZ4 of the new SEER 2 stuff, if you round that up, it would be somewhat equivalent to say a 15 or 16 SEER system. And so a good example of that might be the old FITS the fit heat pump was a DZ-17, and it's now going to be a DZ-6. So when you're looking at that number, if you were to round up, so if you add your one in there, so if you got a DZ-6, add your one in there now, it's actually 16.2 SEER-2 is the rating. If you round that up to 17, again, that's equivalent to the DZ-17, if that makes sense. That's the first thing I wanted to point out there. Another thing that is a little different is with the lower end system. So it used to be if you were going to buy a heat pump or AC that was single stage with Daikin, with the old SEER stuff, you would have after that number. So if you had DZ14, it might have an SN or SA after that. That was the series, if you will. It might come with a little better warranty if you go with one system versus another. And then also the letters after that number would be, if it was like a TC, it was a two-stage system, or if it was a VS, it was a variable speed, or VC could be variable speed. So that V meant variable. Now transitioning over into the new stuff, the CR2 stuff, they're gonna have letters like SQ or SE instead of the SN or SA. Essentially, that's still a series. It might have a little bit of a different warranty. What's really good though, as far as that goes, if you are comparing, you're still gonna have your VS, TC, and VC. TC meant two stage on the old stuff. TC still means two stage on the new stuff. Anyway, ultimately, if you were looking at a fit before, it was a DZ17 or DX17, now it's going to be a DX or DZ6, okay? If you were looking at the 20 seer DZ20, now it's gonna be a DZ9. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. It's gonna take some getting used to for me specifically, especially as I was going through these and kind of offering them to our customers. I'm gonna put a chart up in here also that will show you if the particular product that you're looking at is going to be offered in your area. So again, the you know the specs are going to be raising with these new efficiency standards. I think the confusing thing for a lot of folks is we went from SEER to SEER 2 
2, which is a little bit stricter ratings. We've talked about that in other videos. They have testing that they've never done before to meet these new standards. But they're also, in addition to that, raising the standards. So it's not just where they said, okay, we had a 14 SEER system before, and that 14 SEER is now going to be a 13.2 SEER 2. Well, now they're saying these standards have to be raised in certain parts of the country. If you were going to get a 14 before, now it's got to be a 15, which is equivalent to a 14.3 C or 2. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. You are in the market for a heating and air system. Does this change something for you? The interesting thing for me is, and it's not just Daikin, it's been across the board, is a lot of these new SEER 2 systems are going to be a little higher price tag. Right or wrong, I've expressed how I feel about that in other videos. Especially if it's the same product, if it's the same amount of metal and refrigerant before as it is with the new stuff, should it cost more? Unfortunately, it sounds like across the board, in general, they will cost more. They're going to be, in some cases, minimal, but still a higher price tag. So let me know if that changes anything for you. I'm just curious what everyone thinks of that. And let me know if you do end up selecting a Daikin system, good or bad. I don't mind hearing a good or bad. We like Daikin at Griffin Air, but that doesn't mean it's a fit for everyone or every market. Just like any other brand, you have to know what you're doing to work on that particular brand. You could probably say that about a lot of brands, that if you're gonna sell that brand, you need to know what you're doing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.